Hello everyone, it's Ashley here. Thank you for stopping by to watch this video. Um, today I am joining another YouTube hop. It is for the paper crafting YouTubers and we are having a hop for, um, I guess Halloween. Uh, the theme is a little bit scary. So for this layout, I found this mermaid um, it, I found it on the Silhouette Design Store, and it's from Wild Pilot. It's not a Halloween mermaid, but I thought I could make it into a spooky little Halloween mermaid. So that is what I'm doing here. I am just backing the hair with purple and green pattern paper. I wanted it obviously to look spooky, and I thought it'd be fun to do... Uh, like different highlighted hair purple and green <laughs> so that is what I'm doing so I'm going to show you just a little bit of me backing the hair and then I will do the rest off camera because if you've watched any kind of video like this you've probably seen it enough you probably know how to do it <laughs> so I am going to take this pattern paper from Bella Boulevard um, I'm kind of just using some of my Halloween stash, so this one is the Sweet and Spooky collection by Bella Boulevard, and I'm going to be putting it just in the corner of this paper. I really liked this pattern, I thought it would look really pretty with the mermaid, so I didn't want to use too much of it though. And I'm also going to be taking this green zigzag pattern paper. And using an open scallop border punch to punch along the whole entire one side and then I'm going to um, tuck it underneath this paper and funnily enough I had just enough to go all the way across had I made that little corner piece any longer and I would have had to use um, two strips for this border punch but it worked out and I was very grateful for that because <laughs> I feel like then you gotta try to hide a seam and sometimes that works out pretty well and sometimes it doesn't so just getting that all glued down and just kind of roughing up that edge with my scissors and pulling it up a little bit so I wanted to add some purple watercolor in the background just wanting to add some more color onto this um, white cardstock. Um, not that it's sea like, obviously, the ocean isn't purple, but it is Halloween, so it's something fun. Um, some fun Halloween colors to add. So, yeah, I like the way that looks. And just adding some uh, darker purple splatters. And I'll let that dry, which doesn't take long at all. I think I'm pretty much going to move on right away here. And I don't remember if I've already put... Oh yeah, I did put foam adhesive on the back of this. So I'm going to stick that down here now. And there we go. And my photo is of my two little girls. At Halloween a couple of years ago it was actually like the day before Halloween we went to a chunk or treat and this was the photo I took of them so I'm gonna work on the title now and I'm gonna use a combination of uh, doodle bug stickers this font here and another doodle bug stickers um, they're gonna be the block letter stickers and then some um, thickers that are glitter and they're super pretty so here I'm just spelling out my title it's going to say mermazing spooky hair I love the way that looks with the different fonts and the block letters it just makes the title very pleasing to look at. So just putting foam adhesive where I need to, since I have foam adhesive on the mermaid and this is going to be overlapping the mermaid, 
some, I needed to build up the one side of my photo so that it all set at the same height. And sticking my letters down now. I really enjoy mixing fonts when it comes to the title. It really just makes it so fun. Um, yeah, so that is what I'm doing here. And I'm going to take some foam adhesive and add it to the back of these block letters. I like to do that when I use these block letters because they're so tiny and it helps them just stand out that much more. And I am going to fast forward through that. So I have the title down now. Um, one of my girls took my T-square ruler so I wasn't sure what it was during this process of me putting this title on. So I had to grab a different ruler and kind of try to see if I could get it somewhat straight. But this is kind of whimsical and spooky and Halloween-ish. So I wasn't too concerned if it wasn't on completely straight. So I'm taking some florals from this Echo Park. I think it's I Love Halloween or something like that. Um, sticker sheet and I am just adding them around the mermaid. I think that makes it so fun and kind of plays off that pattern paper that I have in the um, corner there. And I think I'm going yeah, I'm gonna put a little phrase sticker right there. It says scary good. Um I want to cover that star on the mermaid. I didn't like I wish I wouldn't have put the white stitching on it. So I kind of had a plan of putting something over that anyways. But so I found this little spider web from that Say Cheese, uh, Simple Story Say Cheese Halloween ephemera pack and this little spider. So I'm going to put that on some foam adhesive and add that onto the spider web. And I think that makes the mermaid look even more spooky. <laughs> I think she turned out super cute. And I think that will be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you also uh, hop along and all of the links for the rest of the videos will be in the description below. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a great day.